Hi there, I'm Hannah Leitze and welcome to Cabarrus This Week. We're here today at the Embassy Suites in Concord, one of the new one-stop voting locations in Cabarrus County for early voters. Although things may look different this year due to the pandemic, the State Board of Elections Office is making it convenient for people to use their voice and vote this election. Early voters will not be able to cast their ballot at the Board of Elections Office, but one-stop voting is available here at the Embassy Suites and at other venues across Cabarrus to accommodate the large number of anticipated early voters. We talked with Elections Director Carol Souls about what to expect if you decide to vote early. We also heard from some voters about what led them to the polls on the first day. We have four sites for this election. We will not be voting at our office, which is where we typically vote. Instead, we have the old Northern Tool Building, which is Northern Tool Plaza on Concord Parkway. That is the site instead of our location. We also have the Embassy Suites near Concord Mills. We have the Kannapolis train station in Kannapolis and the Cabarrus Arena. Those are our four early voting sites for this election. At early voting, you can register and vote if you miss the registration deadline. If you are planning on registering and voting at early voting, you need to bring identification that has your name and address. It does not have to be a picture ID. That's the only difference in election day and early voting. You can register and vote at early voting. You cannot register and vote on election day. I would not wait until the last day, which is October 31st. It's a Saturday and we're open from eight until three that day, but that is always the busiest day. We will have curbside voting at each of our early voting sites. If you want to just drop off your absentee ballot, they can accept them at early voting sites, but you have to go inside. We also will accept absentee ballots at our office. We're doing that now. So if you don't want to go to an early voting site, you can come to our office at 369 Church Street and drop off your absentee ballot during our hours that we are open. I'm voting early because uh, civic engagement is important for democracy. It's the only way democracy functions. Um, and practically I'm voting early because I'm actually working the polls on election day. I'm voting early because I want this decided by November 3rd, not to be decided by the courts. I'm voting early today because it's not only convenient, but more importantly, it's important. Early voting runs through October 31st. To find a one-stop voting location, visit CabarrasCounty.us slash elections and scroll down to the one-stop early voting tab. Keep in mind that you can access a wide variety of Cabarrus County services online at CabarrasCounty.us. But if you do make a trip to the Government Center, you may notice a new virtual assistant right through the front doors. You can get tax information at the kiosk, but it's also there to help you with questions or any other assistance you may need at the Government Center. Here's Tax Administrator David Thrift with more information on the virtual assistant. We wanted to provide a service that would allow us to interact with taxpayers in a safe way that didn't have physical interactions. So this is an opportunity to come in and talk with our staff, ask questions, answer questions. Good afternoon, welcome to Cabarrus County. My name is Becky, how can I help you today? We have a printer set up so we can provide documents. If you're looking for information and need printouts, we can provide those to the kiosk. Uh, we'll have a drop box where you can drop documents off if you're looking to provide us with information. When you walk in the front door of the county administration building, the kiosk will be directly to your left. If you're coming from the garage and come off the elevators, it'll be around the rotunda to the left. Uh, just come and speak with the staff member that's manning the kiosk at that time. And if they need to have an interaction with someone in person, we can steer them directly to that. Just a virtual receptionist for people to ask questions to, to interact with in a safe manner. Thanks, David. Now with some exciting news from our public library, the way residents get their e-books and e-audiobooks is getting an upgrade. The library will be switching from RB Digital to the new Libby app, which features a new user-friendly format and quicker checkout. All you need is a library card to check out e-books and e-audiobooks on the new app. To get the inside scoop, we spoke with Cannabis Library Branch Manager Christy Reale for a quick overview of the new Libby application. The library has been using RB Digital for six to eight years. This has been our app that we've used for ebooks and e audiobooks. We are getting ready to switch that app over to Libby by Overdrive. It's just a more user friendly app to check out and listen to audiobooks as well as read ebooks. The big difference you're going to see is you're going to have one search box that allows you to search your ebooks and your e audiobooks together. 
The other big difference is you'll see a quicker checkout. You will just put in your library card number to access ebooks and e-audio. We see a lot of people move into Cabarrus County who are used to using Libby and Overdrive already through either Charlotte Mecklenburg Library or Rowan County Libraries. So it'll be a lot easier for us to transition patrons into our system if they're already used to using Libby from other libraries. Anything that you currently have on hold on RB Digital will no longer be on hold after the transition. So you will have to put those items back on hold when we transition to Libby. You'll want to either take screenshots or write down those titles that you have on hold or on a wish list so that you can place them in the new app. You'll still have access to all the great titles that we already have just through a new app. Thanks Christy. I know lots of people are going to be excited about this new upgrade. Well, that's the show for this week. Thanks to all of our guests and most importantly, thank you for joining us. You can learn about what we discussed today and other topics in our weekly newsletter. It's easy to sign up. Just visit cabarruscounty.us and type newsletter in the search bar. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Cabarrus County. You can catch our other programs, including Pam's Kitchen, Historical Moments, and more, streaming live at cabarruscounty.us slash Capco TV, or by downloading the ScreenWeave app for Roku and Apple TV. And last but not least, get out and vote. Thanks so much and have a great week.